y'all welcome back to another episode of brave kids art club my name is brad and i hope you guys are enjoying these videos at least as much as i am because i absolutely love doing these videos with you and i love seeing what you guys create and you guys have been doing an awesome job of sharing your artwork with me and if you haven't had a chance to yet it's really easy just talk to your parents and have them post a picture of your artwork on instagram and tag us at brave kids art club that way i get a chance to see it and it always makes me proud and happy to see what you guys are creating because you guys are super creative brave artists and today we're going to be drawing a very specific type of dog. I know so many of you guys have requested that we draw dogs, but I also know there's so many different kinds and of course we all want to draw our dog. I have a men pin and a black lab and I would love to draw them. So I'm putting them on the list, but this dog is a lot of fun and this is where we're going to start. So let me give you a few hints. They were originally bred to go into badger holes and hunt badgers. They're long and have short little legs and they kind of look like a sausage. Was that too big a hint? <laughs> yep, you got it. We are drawing a dachshund today, or a wiener dog, or a sausage dog, or a badger dog, or a doxy. There are so many different types of nicknames for this dog. I've always called them wiener dogs because they look like hot dogs to me, but uh, you probably have a different name that you call them. But either way, they're really gonna be fun to draw, so let's make sure we have everything we need and get started. All right, make sure you have a nice clean sheet of paper out. You're gonna need a pencil that's sharpened with some type of eraser handy. Apparently I have three, so I'm quite prepared. And then you're gonna wanna have a marker or a dark pen so that we can do the outline over top of our sketch just to finalize it. And then we'll erase that sketch with our erasers up from underneath it. And then the very fun part comes where we get to color it in. So I got my big bag of markers. Maybe you have crayons or watercolors or pastels or whatever, you, whatever you're using to color it in is just fine. All right, so let's start with our sketch. We're gonna start by doing three different circles and it'll all make sense once we're, once we're done, once we've connected the circles. I like to start with basic shapes if I can. So let's just say I wanna put the head of my wiener dog right up here. So we'll do a little circle right there. Maybe a little bigger, a little bit bigger. And then we're gonna do a, another circle right about here and it's going to be bigger significantly bigger than that one about like that and these might change a little but it's just good to know where they're at so this is the head this is going to be the chest and the arm the front legs of our uh of our wiener dog or dachshund it's actually a german word or two german words put together because they're bred in germany it's dox which means badger and hund which means hound because it's like a really small hound dog but you put those two together dachshund or dachshund and uh, that's how you pronounce it i just learned prior to this video because i always call them either a dachshund or a dash hound Actually, I really just called him wiener dog because I didn't know. And I'm going to continue to call him that because they look like cute little sausages. Alrighty, so we're going to add the tail into this uh, wiener dog over here. We're going to put it up a little bit higher than this one. Up a little bit higher. And it's okay if it's loose because we're just uh, sketching, trying to figure out some things. So let's start with the nose over here on the head. Let's figure out how far that nose is going to go out. So we'll line and then we're going to Pull it back like this. We're gonna to try to straighten it out, but then we're gonna curve it again right before it goes down to the chest. There we go. And then we're gonna take the little head. We're gonna do a little knot on top of the head. Now see how we're not following that circle exactly? That's okay. That circle is just there to kind of show us the relative size of what we're working with and how it compares to these things right over here, these other parts of the body. So that's the only reason why we have them there. They're not to be exact, exactly replicated. Okay, there we go. So we got the head, we got the chest of our, of our little wiener dog friend right here. And then we're gonna, do a little bump right here. Just do one little bump right here and that's gonna be like the shoulder blade. And then from the back end of it, we're just gonna kinda of go like this. Cause they're long and skinny. They were bred to go in and hunt badgers in their little badger holes. So they're long and skinny and crawl inside there. But not just badgers, they even had smaller ones that would go into rabbit holes. All right, so our wiener dog's gonna be kinda of long, but that's okay. All right, so now let's figure out their belly. We can give them a really big gut if you want. <laughs> if you have a wiener dog and its stomach kind of hits the ground, maybe that's what you want to draw. But I'm going to have this one try to be a little bit 
fitter if I can and have them kind of go down to here. See this little, little curve right here that I'm doing? There we go. All right, so now let's add the legs here. Let's add those short, stubby, cute little legs on here. We're gonna go back. We're gonna do the, the little thing that we do with all of our four-legged creatures. Go back first, and then we're gonna go, not straight down, we're gonna kinda diagonal a little bit. And then we're gonna come from over here, we're gonna do the front of that haunch right there on their, on their back legs, and bring it all the way over here, and then right before we start to just run right into it, we're gonna curve it. And we're gonna have it curve and go straight down to match that other one. There we go. Now, are these legs too long? <laughs> they might be, so I'm not gonna finish the, the bottom of their paws quite yet. I'm just gonna keep drawing their legs. All right, so let's do the front leg now. We're gonna give them kind of a stubby front leg. There we go. Yeah, see, that back leg is way too long. That's why I didn't draw the paw on it yet. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Just whatever you're thinking, just cut it in half. Cause that's probably what it is. <laughs> and I can say this because my nieces have two little wiener dogs that are really, really cute. Belly and Jilly. Really cute little dogs. And they have very short legs. All right, so let's do, we got the front legs. Now let's do the ones in the background. We'll do them slightly higher. Kind of copy what we did on this side. Just do them a little bit higher. And then we'll have this one kind of sitting back a little bit. Like that. And then we'll give them the little paws. Just do like a little, little paw like that. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty, pretty little dogs. Let's do this. Maybe we need to bring that down a little bit more. There we go. Look at those squatty little cute legs. Oh, we gotta add the tail. Do a little wagging tail here. This is gonna be a happy, happy wiener dog. It's easy enough right there. And then we're gonna draw maybe the, we'll kind of curve that a little bit. We'll draw the eye right here. We'll draw a big happy eye, big friendly eyeball. That means we got a big pupil in the middle. There we go. Now we gotta think of a name for ours. Now I'm kinda of torn because the two wiener dogs that I know are named Belly and Jilly. Maybe this is gonna be called Jelly Belly. Jelly Belly, that's it. I like that, I'll mix both the names together. Jelly Belly right here. Okay, we'll add a little smile to Jelly Belly. There we go. A little smile. And then we'll do Maybe we'll put a few little dots there for where the little whiskers go. And then we're gonna draw their ear, and the really easy way to draw this ear would be just to go do this little diagonal line right here, and then meet up over here, and we'll just have it kind of connect right over here like this, like that. All right, I like how that looks. And it looks like we pretty much have everything on here. We might have to go through and erase a few little things so that we don't go over them with our, our outline. We want to make sure we don't outline them. So I'm going to erase some of this stuff in the middle. And hey, did you guys know that I lived right next to a town called Buda in Texas? It's uh, right outside of Austin, Texas. And they call it the wiener dog capital of the world. In fact, they actually have races where they have everybody brings their wiener dogs and they race and they have a big fair and it's a whole lot of fun. And we went to it a couple different years and uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun to see these little short leg dogs sprint across the field. All right, so I wanna make sure I don't erase this line because it's in the back, but this foot is in the front. Erase all this stuff. I might leave a little bit of that, um, that haunch right there, that circle. All right, I think the last few things would just be adding a couple lines over here for their paws. And then I think I'm ready to go ahead and outline it with our marker. All right, let's start with the tail. I kind of exaggerated the length of our dog. Maybe not. <laughs> it looks like we've exaggerated a little bit. I'm not sure if they come that long, but they do look pretty, pretty stretched out when it comes to other dogs. We got the back leg on there. Let's do this 
belly. Now, we are going to be coloring this in. And when we color it in, there's so many different combinations of colors and types of fur that they have that wiener dogs come in. So you can really go crazy with it and you're probably not gonna be too far off. <laughs> All right, let's do the chest. I made that a little bit lower than I wanted it, but you can always fix those types of things just as you go. Let's bring that back. We'll bring this little leg, that stubby little leg in the back. There we are. And then we'll bring this leg back here. There, I had it kind of aimed up. I got to fix that a little bit. All right, now let's do the back. Let's do the back over here, have it come down. All right, we'll do that little shoulder blade. Boop. Or a little wrinkle. Maybe that's just a little wrinkle in their skin because they're like all scrunched up. I don't know. All right, we're going to slowly do the top of the head of our little jelly belly. There we go. I'm going to come down, curve it down into the neck, but we'll stop real quick because we're going to do this ear. That big floppy ear. Classic hound dog, right? They got the big floppy ears. They're just a little teeny tiny hound dog. <laughs> All right, let's do that eyeball. The big pupil there. I'm gonna give him a little smile. And then we'll give him a, just a little curve right there at the end of the nose. There we go. Oh, no, I gotta do the last little things on the paws. All right, so I guess all I have left is just erasing all of this under sketch, getting rid of all that so I can prepare it for coloring. And we've just essentially made a really cool coloring page. <laughs> so then we'll just get our colors out and start working on that. You don't have to watch me do that. You can go ahead and do that on your own and we'll just meet up right after. How does that sound? All right, cool, let's do that. Jelly Belly is finished. <laughs> I thought I'd go with an orange just because it just reminded me of a little hot dog and I thought it'd be kind of fun. And how did your guys' turn out? Awesome. Well, I hope you guys had fun with the coloring too because that's always my favorite part. And are you proud of what you made? Good, okay, good. If we're proud of what we make, what do we need to do? That's right, we need to sign our name on our artwork so everybody knows that we were brave enough to try out drawing whatever we were drawing and uh, we're proud of what we made. Well, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed this video in particular, please drop it a like. And also remember, before I let you go, remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. Alrighty, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>